in America there is Chinese people available. Yeah. In Chap Chinese people don't bear on the face. They don't have beer. Um, uh, some of them maybe, I don't know, I don't notice. Oh, always see maybe the they have mustache. Uh, I think always Chinese people I look, their face is no beard. Without beard, yeah. No, you maybe have they beer. can't grow. Maybe they can't grow it. Huh? You have this moisture or this you you yeah. have. Yeah. But they are very like you know Clean. like shopper, yeah? yeah. I think they don't have uh, these places. They don't from have where the, this the hair beer is to coming. grow on their on their skin, huh? Skin is know. little. Bit. My name is Lauren Kronk, and I've been a denim designer and a denim maker for 25 years. I'm on the hunt for pretty much anything and everything denim. So join us for the journey, and we'll see you at the factory. Previous two segments, uh, I showed you how Sorty takes bales of cotton and spins that cotton in the yarn, how that yarn is indigo dyed, and how those indigo indigo dyed yarns are weaved into denim. On this segment, I'm going to show you how that denim gets cut into pieces and how those pieces get sewn into jeans. Today I'm at the Sorti Denim Kind building, which is in Karachi, Pakistan. It's um, their newest, factory and it's totally state-of-the-art. I'm on the rooftop. It's all solar panels up top. I mean, it's, it's probably one of the nicest factories I've ever been to over all my years of traveling around to different countries and seeing all sorts of different factories. Denim Kind is the only lead platinum certified clothing factory in Pakistan. Um, there's other lead certified uh, factories but platinum is the highest level you can achieve um, I'll put a link in the video about lead certification okay I'm in the cutting room right now you're gonna see rolls of denim these rolls of denim just came from the um, denim mill which you saw me at my last segment and these guys are laying out the fabric so it can relax so stretch fabric needs to relax so they take it off the roll and put it onto these pallets and they let it sit for either a half a day or a day and um, the fabric relaxes and then it's ready to be um, put onto the cutting tables and cut. All the rolls you see here, this is 100% cotton. It doesn't need to be uh, relaxed. You can see it looks like they're getting ready to roll 100% cotton out onto the cutting table. That's a pretty cool machine, right? So they lay it out, this guy smooths it out, he just marks any little issues the fabrics have. So when they're laying it out on the cutting table, they will uh, make sure and cut that area out. And we're gonna go here and see if we can Peeking through to see, looks like this guy is maybe laying out a marker. Okay, so this is an example of a marker. He's laying out all the pieces of a garment by all the different sizes on the width of the fabric. Again, all the fabrics come in different widths. So you can see the back panel, the yoke, the back pockets, the front pocket facing, front panels, um, waistbands, belt loops. So it's pretty good use of fabric actually. All right, so behind me we have um, an automatic cutter. They've got the fabric laid out. This is a marker on top. So 
this looks like it's a, a denim short. So you've got the short panels. This looks like the back panel. You've got the front panels. You can see where the pocket scoop is. Back pockets. You got your back yokes. And this machine showing all the pieces that have been cut and what it's cutting and then what pieces it needs to cut. And these dudes are sitting here waiting for the, the panels to, or the cut pieces to uh, come down and they'll probably grab them, tie them together, and uh, bundle them up. Now, on bigger production runs, you have the automatic cutter, but for smaller production runs, you have a manual cutting, which uh, these guys are doing right over here. It's like a really sharp razor blade. Look at that cut. These are waistbands, and how you can tell is they're a curved waistband, and these things have um, a fusible. Sometimes on waistbands and um, and belt loops, they put a fusible so it makes them a little bit more sturdy. So they, they uh, iron a fusible to the back and uh, gives it a little bit more uh, structure. So that's manual cutting. So in this section, these guys are numbering and bundling all the different pattern pieces. We've got yokes, back pockets, be cutting and sewing a pair of jeans it would take me about four to five hours so they make one pair of jeans every like 12 to 18 minutes here and it's an old-fashioned assembly line each side builds a part of the jean so this side is building the front two sides of the jean this other side of the line is building the back of the jean so it starts with this guy He's putting the coin pocket onto the pocket facing. Then it comes to her. She's adding a pocket facing onto one of the pockets. The left side. This is the right side. This, this guy's closing the pocket. She's finishing, he's closing the pocket and it's on the reverse side. So she's turning it inside out or right side in and then doing a top stitch, a clean finish to hide the cover stitch. This guy is sewing the pocket bags with the facing into the front panel. So he's sewing the pocket bag into the front panel. And then I think, oh, what's cool about this is they run a little um, taping on the edge of the pocket. So you see this is a little facing right here, or a little uh, binding actually, which is just kind of a clean finish. This guy looks like he's doing the other side. This guy's hustling. He's closing, he's making the front pockets um, stay together on both sides so when they put the panels together it'll be easier and they won't move around. I used to pin it. This guy's putting the zipper fly in. This guy's adding the it's like a quarter inch 
sti top stitch to the um, zipper fly edge. So this guy's gonna add the double needle J stitch. He's got a little template there and his templates got different sizes. So it looks like this size. Nice and clean. Yeah. Guys, adding the right panel together with the left panel, and he's adding the zipper guard, which is behind the zipper at the same time. Dude, this guy flies. <laughs> I wish I could um I wish I could sew this fast. This guy just cranked out two real quick. This guy is continuing the front rise with a double needle stitch. So this guy connected the two. This guy's continuing and finishing the front two pieces together. This guy's overlocking the out seam, I think. Yep. And that's just the front panel. And she's making the, looks like she's making the zipper guards. I believe this is the coin pocket that goes onto the front pocket facing. She's overlocking the um, front edge of the fly these guys are putting the yokes on to the back panels now it looks like these back back panels have already had the pockets placed probably by an automatic machine which we'll go check out So this is one of my dream machines. I, I never had one of these and it's it clean finishes. It's a fell seam, so it finishes nicely the front and the back of the seam. There's running an overlock on the out seam. Again, they're making the back panels. That other line was making the front panels. And then after they get through this section, they're going to merge, they're going to put them together. These guys are making the um, fell back rise, so they're piecing together both the left and right back panels with my dream machine. And it's a, it's a critical operation. Just placing the back pockets with the single needle, then they're adding the uh, double needle stitch. And this guy's inspecting. So you have the back panels and you have the front panels. Once these pass inspection, they come over here. And now these guys are, again, my dream machine right here. It's the feller. It's the, um, they're connecting the back and front panels. These dudes are quick. Oh man, look at that. I could just watch this all day. This guy's closing the out seams. So he's closing the out seams of the jeans. This guy is putting the pocket stitch, the stay stitch, right here. It's a front stay stitch that folds the uh, inside edge, the out seam edge over so it doesn't rub on the body. It's this stitch right here. So this guy, this guy's putting the waistbands on to the jeans. They start without a waistband, this machine.
I took about 10 seconds to put a waistband on the machine. He's inspecting it. So she's prepping it so they can close the waistband. This guy's closing the waistband. So he's closing it. So he's closing it. So it finishes on the zipper guard. So it's a clean finish. That's what he's doing. She's prepping it because the waistband's long. So she's taking out the threads and prepping it so it can be closed. This guy's taking the. Um, he's closing the front part of the jean waistband. He's uh, bar tacking the critical points. Oh, he's bar tacking the pockets they stitch, and then the back pocket, or the coin pockets. They put the little welt piece in the bar tacks, so it's a little bit stronger for wash. And now they're trimming off a little bit of the threads and um, hemming. He's hemming it. This guy's going fast. It looks pretty cool too, right? Oh, where are you from? Where is he from? He probably, probably over here. This guy's got his own little clock, man. This guy's like, I like it. It's good. <laughs> no, it's alright. And um, this guy's inspecting. It looks like, right? These people are so fast, that is nuts. It's been a little while since I've been to an assembly line of jeans. So. After the jeans come off the assembly line, they take them to this specialized area to put belt loops on and the keyholes for the center front, and this guy's doing the keyholes. So when they finish sewing, um, the jeans come here, they're stacked up, they're counted. Now they have to get these over to the laundry. They have this little chute The laundry chute. We'll pick up at um, the laundry for the next step in um, getting to the end of making a pair of jeans. And Saf, where are you from? I'm basically belong from Hazara division. Northern part of Pakistan. Northern part? Yeah, very beautiful, lush green, mountain, uh, very clean weather. Ski resort? Snow falling, beautiful weather. Now in Karachi, weather is 36 maybe, but there, cold. outstanding. Cold. Like cold weather. Still. The mountain huh? is snow, completely cover with snow beautiful uh, so how come you're not still there um, how come you're still not there sorry sir how come you're still not how come you're here not there yeah but here no because you work here hometown is hometown yeah 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 i guess so without your family there is also in Pashto one uh, one singing uh, with with your hometown in it. Watan da yaar pastar go khok de Che yaar de navi sa watan sa be watana 
you are in hometown with your friend with your relative with your colleagues with your with your uh, they are spending some time with in school everywhere and mostly these people if they are not you are not happy yani you my 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 childhood friend is in hometown mostly less people is in karachi and we are not meeting every day so hometown is hometown you know yeah yeah